Welcome everybody back to the Figure Kit Garage, fellow resin heads and kit builders. Brent Krug back with another out of the box review. This kit arrived earlier this afternoon and it came to me by way of Mr. Tony Cipriano, who anybody that's been in this hobby for quite a long time knows that name. Tony has uh, sculpted a lot of amazing pieces for this hobby as well as um, he's done a lot of work for companies like Sideshow Collectibles and others and he's also done uh, he worked for uh, Disney Studios doing maquettes for uh, the movie Mulan and several others but this kit is of a classic Saturday morning cartoon character that I honestly never ever thought I would see and this is the first kit that uh, that Tony's done that is 3D printed, and he's uh, he started dabbling in the world of 3D printing uh, resin kits, and this one is of a rather unique cartoon character, none other than Space Ghost. And Space Ghost, for those of you who have never heard of him, which well I will really be surprised. And for those of you um, who know of him, one of the most, I'd say, underrated cartoon characters ever. Um, Tony has captured this character beautifully in a 3D printed solid. That's right, I said 3D printed solid resin kit. Most 3D printed kits are printed out hollow. Tony has done his solid, which makes it even more of a uh, a kit builder's kit, more or less. Uh, standing 11 inches tall and coming in six pieces. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Tony Cipriano's work, he has sculpted numerous kits over the years. Uh, a Vincent Price tribute bust based on the back pages of the comic books where Vincent Price was advertising the do-it-yourself shrunken heads kit. He did that for uh, the late Tony Salcinas quite a few years ago. Uh, several of the Universal Monsters in a very unique style which lends to them being bronze rather than painted in full color. Um, he also did the Mobius 1 5th scale 1966 Yvonne Craig Batgirl, which I do have a copy of that kit, and he did an amazing job. As well as quite a few pieces for Sideshow Collectibles, and several of those I'm going to show you, one of them being the Mary Jane Comiquette washing Spider-Man's outfit. One of the more unique uh, sideshow uh, statues. And there you have the Yvonne Craig Batgirl he did for Mobius Models. A rather big kit, but it's exceptionally well detailed and he captured the character incredibly well. And my all-time favorite and one that I wish I would have jumped on... And the last time I looked uh, one of these things up on eBay, they were going for about $1,000. The Vampirella Comiket. I'll bring that a little bit closer so you can see the detail. Tony has an amazing hand at sculpting. I put him up there right alongside the likes of Mark Van Tyne, Jeff Yeager, Trevor Grove, John Dennett, and so on. He definitely belongs high up on that list. So we're going to pop open this kit and I will put a link to uh, Tony's Facebook page, Tony, uh, Tony Cipriano Sculpture, which he uh, just, he also has uh, Popeye and Jeep from the King Features, uh, King Features Syndicate uh, cartoon and comic strip. And underdog another one of my personal favorites which i'm gonna have to get a hold of and he just i believe just now got his uh classic iron man released and it's not the current iron man i'm talking about iron man from all the way back in 1966 
or I believe it's 1968. I cannot remember which one it is. So, Tony, if I got the years messed up, I do apologize. But this is the base for Space Ghost. This is more of a regular standard show base. No extra detail to it. And for this being solid 3D printed, I can't even imagine how many hours it takes to do one of these in solid rather than hollow. But it has already been pre-touched up as far as print supports and whatnot. There are light sanding marks on it from where he's already prepped it. And that's an amazing thing to see. So this kit is practically ready to go right out of the box. Very little in the way of finishing. Cipriano 2021. And there's your base. And we will begin after that with the legs. And with this being uh, the fourth 3D printed kit that I've purchased and gotten in hand, I will have to say this is one of the cleanest printed kits I have ever seen. Um, the Punisher that I recently finished up that I did a work in progress series on the print on that was not even close to this to the level of cleanliness on this so my hats off to Tony to make sure that this came out just as flawless as possible and these are the legs for Space Ghost a little bit of cleanup right there but <laughs> light sandpaper and that's it And like, like I said, light sandpaper on this to polish it off. Smooth that out a little bit more. But he made damn sure that whenever he sends these things out, they are just about as ready to go as they're going to get. Yeah, you're going to have a little bit of finishing work to do, but it's nothing major. It's really nothing major. Properly keyed. You do have to gently move the pegs into position, but when you get the when you get those feet, and sorry about the table shape, but when you get the feet into that base, that's not coming off. You practically don't have to glue it because the fit is so tight, it squeezes itself in. So you really can't beat that. We're going to move on to the upper body, and you get two separate heads with this one. Uh, one smiling, and one in his standard, I guess you could say, Space Ghost superhero scowl. And here we have the upper body, arms, hands, and power bands for Space Ghost. A little insignia on the chest. And more of the touch up that he did after the printing process to get it uh, ready to ship. The resolution lines on this thing are pretty much as invisible as it's going to get. You cannot ask for anything better than that. A little bit of cleanup right there. Nothing major, no big deal. Not sweating that at all. This is... Sorry, folks. This is incredible. Never thought I'd see a kit of Space Ghost in my lifetime. And if there ever has been any, I definitely missed out on it. But it fits beautifully right onto the legs. Any kind of a gap in between the upper body and the legs is so minimal. I have to do a little bit of sanding to even it out, but it's that kind of a gap is just negligible as far as that goes. Yeah, this is this is so well done. You can't ask for anything better. I mean, if you wanted something better, <laughs> I guess you'd have to just print it yourself and try and get it as perfect as you possibly can. Which, 3D printing, it's not perfect, it's not exact science. 
having built two 3D printed kits, I've seen flaws in both to where I've had to do slight modifications and additions and subtractions. Um, but Tony made sure that this thing was as prepped as it can get. And it's probably been the best one I've seen so far. And then the cape. And one gigantic flowing. This has got a swoop in it, which is actually really cool to see. Instead of being a straight down, this cape actually has motion to it. And it'll fit just like so. And I'll have to get some uh, <laughs> quake putty to fit him together and then we have the two heads space ghost and his cowl and this is definitely done in the image of the cartoon there's no extreme detail in the outfit or the mask or the face this is definitely meant to look like a cartoon piece and nothing more Just beautifully printed, already sanded, smoothed out, and the key fit into the cape is absolutely perfect. As you'll see when I get this, uh, start getting this thing put together a little bit. And then we have the smiling version, which for Space Ghost was a, uh, not necessarily a rarity, but this is a nice add-on for something like that. And Space Ghost there was a lot more to that character than I even realized that he was only scheduled for 42 episodes and ran from 66 to 1968 but ran in syndication in the 1970s and that was how i was introduced to the character it was saturday morning cartoons in the 70s like a lot of us probably and he was part of a it was a combo series with another one called dino uh, the adventures of dino boy if i remember right and Dino Boy only had 18 episodes, but Space Ghost lasted beyond that, um, along with uh, Jan Jason, the uh, monkey blip, which in the ad for Space Ghost, Jan Jason blip are forthcoming. There's been no announcement on that yet, but that's going to be kind of cool to have the entire set of characters revolving around uh, Space Ghost. But this is a beautiful addition to any collection. Uh, my hat's off to Tony altogether for uh, bringing this to life. The uh, the other kits that he's uh, in, you know that he's done, the Popeye and uh, Eugene the Jeep are dead on likenesses to the cartoon characters. He just nails it every step of the way, and these are kits that you know guys like me and my age would absolutely love to have in their collection oh come on this guy's not going to cooperate quake putty or not the cape is a little bit heavy so if i can't get him all the way fit it on jeez too much quake putty <laughs> I guess I'll just have to cheat. But the power bands, I remember those so well because he always had different, uh, different uh, attacks with his power bands. We have heat, cold, magnetism energy uh his belt he could become invisible when he uh pushed the button on a pushed a button on his belt 
And he always fought the same bad guys week after week after week. And it was Moltar, Zorak, Black Widow. Not the same Black Widow from Marvel Comics. Much different. And he was revived in the 1990s um, by Cartoon Network and Adult Swim for the series Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Which with me only lasted one episode then I quit watching it because it was just not the space ghost that I knew and that I knew and loved wasn't even close so the original Saturday morning series was the was the only one I would ever go for and people fit in like so get my hand out of the way here but there we have Space Ghost by Tony Cipriano. Uh, this kit retails for $140 plus $12 shipping. It's a standard uh, $12, $12 flat rate shipping. And I contact, Tony contacted me Tuesday uh, morning time, if I remember right, that he had a Space Ghost available because he knew I wanted it. And I got the payment to him that day right before I left for work and he was packing it up that night and it arrived earlier this afternoon you want to talk about going from ludicrous you know ludicrous speed ah, trying to make English optional again ludicrous speed straight up to plaid um, that's surprising that this kit got here that fast and Tony also does offer this piece fully assembled and hand painted by him for $350 and $12 shipping. So not only can you get an amazing piece like this as a kit, you can get it assembled and hand painted by him personally, which is pretty damn cool. And I'll show you the fit on the cape with the cowl. Absolutely flawless. This is just an amazing piece to add to a collection. Bring the light over a little bit. There we go. That's better. Show it off just one more time with the cape on the body. And this does give you the option, because it is solid printed, you can put magnets into the keys on the head and in the cape to do switch outs which is really nice so there we have it and I'll show you the cape on the body with a smiling face pretty damn cool so to Mr. Tony Cipriano thank you for bringing back this classic character uh, as a model kit brings back a lot of memories of Saturday morning cartoons chomping on a bowl of cereal sitting on the couch in my PJs and watching the adventures of Space Ghost I want to thank everybody that's uh, subscribed recently um, currently standing at 281 subscribers I want to thank everybody that's subscribed and stay subscribed uh, stay subscribed uh, to this channel it means a lot um i'm gonna have at least two new kits in the upcoming week i've got a, a 3d printed kit that uh, virginia wanted of a cat that looks like pennywise the clown rather unique i'm not gonna lie and I also have the search for loot coming from Stan Arts. And I finally decided to uh, pull the trigger on that kit. But if you want this kit, uh, message uh, Tony Cipriano. I'll leave the contact information for uh, Tony Cipriano Sculpture down in the comments below. Um, if you're interested in any, anything more about Tony, check out episode 22 of Model Club TV. Jason and Scott do a full-on interview with Tony. 
Uh, really interesting. A lot of things I didn't know about the man. And it's a really, a really great interview. So like I said, episode 22 of Model Club TV. I'll leave a link for that, uh, link for that uh, channel down below. So once again, this has been Space Ghost. Out of the box review from the Figure Kit Garage. I want everybody to have a incredible weekend. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Build a kit.